This is Field Sports Channel News. Scottish wind turbines have killed dozens of endangered birds. That's the conclusion of a report from Nature Scott, which reveals that 33 raptors have died after flying into the structures since 2019. The report shows that 2019 was one of the worst years for wind farm incidents, with 12 deaths, including five ospreys and one white-tailed eagle, at sites in the Highlands. Conservative MSP Sir Edward Mountain is pushing for more details about the deaths and warns they might be the tip of the iceberg. The report comes as the SNP is hoping to more than double Scotland's onshore wind capacity. The government has introduced a mandatory three-week quarantine for caught-up birds in England. The rules apply to pheasants, partridges and mallards. DEFRA says the restrictions will help stop the spread of bird flu. It applies from the last bird caught before movement to another premises. Gamekeepers should keep records of catching up, including the start date and final date of catching, and daily records of numbers caught. They should also keep records of daily mortality and reasons for any birds being culled. DEFRA has banned movements from protected or surveillance zones to areas outside of these. It will allow sufficient time for people to observe the birds on their site to make sure that they're not infected by avian influenza. And if you happen to be on a site that is an infected premises, the ramifications are really quite serious. So this is why we all need to play our part to stop this onward spread. A huge response to the lead ammunition consultation has sent the civil service into a tailspin. The Health and Safety Executive announces it is postponing publication of its proposals to restrict the use of lead ammunition. It says in view of the overwhelming response, it is delaying releasing its opinions and response by six months. The agency received nearly 3,000 responses, including detailed and technical submissions. The figure is nine times that of a similar exercise conducted in Europe, which also saw a six-month extension. The HSE says that responses need to be worked through. As part of the announcement, the HSE says it's now looking at what it calls alternative risk management options for lead ammunition. The RSPB has appeared on BBC's Countryfile TV show calling for the release of pheasants for shooting to be stopped because of bird flu. In a one-hour programme which showed the economic, social and environmental benefits of shooting, filmed on the 12,500-acre Rieg estate in North Wales, RSPB spokesman Jeff Knott said pheasants are affected by the current strain of avian influenza. When the BBC pressed him for evidence, Mr Knott admitted it hasn't been proven that pheasants transfer the variant into wild bird populations. We approached the RSPB for a comment. In a statement, Mr Knott said that the RSPB fears that releasing pheasants helps bird flu spread. He adds that this is unnecessary and avoidable and that halting pheasant releases in 2023 would make a difference and could be done very quickly if the will was there. Staying with the RSPB and it's advertised an unusual vacancy in Northern Ireland. You can earn between £26,000 and £29,000 a year killing ferrets on Rathlin Island off the north coast of Antrim. The money comes from the £4.5 million that the National Lottery and taxpayers are giving the RSPB to kill all the rats and ferrets on the 3,000-acre Rathlin Island, which works out at an incredible £1,500 per acre. Locals introduced ferrets to Rathlin in the 1980s to combat the rabbit population and soon found that they eat rare birds too. You will need a firearms licence and you will lead what the RSPB calls the ferret educational team in the field and maintain traps across the island. You will also have to learn to look mournful. The RSPB usually opposes predator control and a spokesman points out that no one gets into this work because they like killing animals. Link to the vacancy below. Antis have jumped on the bandwagon after Elon Musk reposted a picture of a man posing behind a large, dead animal. In his tweet, the Tesla and Twitter owner commented, eight years later and still no laws. The original post said, this guy thinks it's cool to kill defenseless animals, then take a selfie. The picture, of course, from 2015 was of film director Steven Spielberg with a plastic triceratops from the 1993 Jurassic Park movie. The original post was a prank and the prankster followed up with a picture of Spielberg from the set of the movie Jaws in 1975 with the caption, folks, we need your help identifying this vicious shark killer shown posing with this illegal prey. The French government is introducing a ban on hunting under the influence of alcohol. 
It comes after months of fierce debate over hunting regulations following a series of hunting-related deaths. A new fine will be created to sanction the act of hunting under the excessive influence of alcohol. According to a French Senate report, 9% of hunters involved in a severe accident test positive for drugs or alcohol. The French government ruled against more stringent proposals, such as an outright hunting ban for one day at the weekends. The president of the European Union, Ursula von der Leyen, has taken sides in the wolf cull debate. A wolf killed her pony Dolly at her home in Germany. DNA samples revealed that the animal had also killed other livestock in the area. Officials in Hanover issued a permit for the wolf to be hunted and shot, which is rare under EU rules. After the pony's death, von der Leyen ordered Commission officials to re-evaluate the rules that strictly protect wolves in Europe. She is now on the side of German farmers who claim the wolf population in Germany is increasing by 33% each year. An MP from New Zealand has taken part in one of the most prestigious shooting competitions on the islands. Nicole McKee MP shot the Ballinger Belt, New Zealand's oldest sporting trophy, held near the capital Wellington. McKee competed in the Wellington Rifle Association Championships, one of the warm-up events to the Belt Series. She points out that this is the first year that shooters competed for the Belt under the new King's banner. She says she didn't shoot her best, but had a wonderful time with friends on the range. Thanks to Nick Olden for the story. And finally, a member of Scott Country International was out filming in South Ayrshire with a Hick Micro Thermal and got an eyeful. He was tracking a heron in flight in all its glory when he got more than he bargained for. The bird emptied its bowels as it was flying and the moment was caught on the unit. Definitely hot stuff. You are now up to date with Field Sports Channel News. Stalking the stories, fishing for facts.